Hey, it's your girl Emma, also known as Vancouver Foodie, and today I'm taking on an essential trip to Vancouver. These are three go-to must-try restaurants here in the city that I, without hesitation, always bring friends that are visiting or recommend to people that are asking me, it's my first time, where do I go, what do I eat? So these three spots are the spots and I'm gonna take you to each one of them today. So strap in your seat belts, loosen them belts actually, and we're gonna go eat. Get ready, take down some notes. Okay, I just got sat down and pretty much I put my name down. It's around 1.30 right now, so I tend to go a little bit after lunch or maybe the rush hours uh, because it can be very busy and they don't take reservations or pick up the phone, so you have to show up and put your name down. And they say it's a 25 minute wait, but I literally only waited like five, 10 minutes. Um, but take into account, I just came here by myself today. And what's cool, it's funny, it's that um, I'm sharing it with two other strangers today, but <laughs> that's the fun of making new friends if you're coming solo here. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna order my top three favorites from this restaurant, and we're gonna go through it all. So wait until you see. Okay, we have the trifecta here. Yes, it is. One, two, three dishes that I always order without doubt. Honestly, you could have a table of seven people and have these times two or three and you're set to go. And normally every table has like three to five dishes of these fried chicken wings. So my favorite dish right here is the large chicken wings. Definitely recommend just getting large and getting it to go if you have extras. This is one of the dishes that I love ordering uh, because it is lightly fried, it has this crispiness to it, and has this peppery saltiness to it. And guess what? This sauce right here is a lemony, peppery, acidic, tangy, I don't know, magical sauce that you dip in and it cuts right through the fattiness of the deep fried coating of a chicken wing. Mm. Look how juicy that looks. I might even just come in from time to time and order it, just that dish on its own or get it for takeout, but you have to eat it fresh. Here we have the butter beef. I don't know if you can see it. I kind of tossed it already because I kind of wanted to cook and it's just this one giant piece normally on its own. Uh, so kind of break it apart to enjoy it properly and to share. I mean, I mean, you could keep the one piece for yourself if you really wanted to. I wouldn't mind. Beautiful, medium thickness of beef, just slathered in their house special sauce and cilantro. If you don't like cilantro, this is probably not for you. I wouldn't opt out of the cilantro, let's be honest. <laughs> and deep fried garlic and shallots, like that is just soaking in the sauce as well. So let's give it a go. I think I took a bigger piece than I should have. The beef is so tender and smooth. And it's got a nice bite and chew to it at the end. Like the acidic, sweet, umami flavor of the house sauce, kind of like hugging every piece. And the cilantro just brings that extra cherry on top, like that oomph, that extra kick that you need to make it fresh and fragrant. Different from beef tartare because you have all that sauce kind of cooking it slowly, but these are one of my favorites. Like, it's sort of that appetizer that opens up that palate and your meal for the rest of the chicken nuts, if you know what I mean there. Just finished up at Nam Pen, and honestly, you can't go to Vancouver without going to Nam Pen. I don't know why. Like, it's an essential. It's like the top of the list. It is the priority. Also, after your meal at Nam Pen, you can head over like two streets over and get some brioche donuts at Mellow Donuts. My top three favorites are cereal, cereal milk, strawberries and cream, which has the fresh cream and fresh strawberries, but also the tiramisu. That one is killer if you love coffee. 
And if you find yourself spending money on food all the time, like I do, then I highly recommend the BMO Eclipse Visa Infinite Card, where you get to take your daily routine and maximize it with points, where you get five times the points on things like dining, including restaurants, takeout, delivery, also transportation, like public transit, rideshare, gas, and you guys, groceries, which is an essential. And you get a point for every other dollar spent anywhere else. For redeeming points, it can go towards things like merchandise, travel, gift cards, and even pay with points for your recent purchase. So whether it's splurging on your next meal and getting that new aesthetic kitchen tool at the same time, this card is going to be your best friend. And might I add that they have this incredible welcome offer that has a total value of $570 with up to 60,000 points, your first annual fee of $120 waived, plus a $50 lifestyle bonus every single year. That sounds pretty dang good to me. Okay, we are here at stop number two called Tom Sushi, located on Davie, which is pretty much like a five minute walk from English Bay or uh, the beach, the English Bay beach. So normally what I like to do is, if this place has a lineup, which they often do during dinner time, I would do takeout and walk down to the beach and enjoy the sunset there. Uh, which I highly, highly, highly recommend. Um, but if you're able and lucky enough to get a spot here in Tom Sushi, you should because it's not a big space um, and it's like a cute kind of hidden gem that, you know what, not a lot of locals like to talk about it. This place is good for value, fresh quality, especially tuna and the positioning and location of the space in downtown Vancouver is key. So for convenience sake and anyone that is visiting Vancouver, this probably is a spot that you need to hit up. Okay, first up we have the nigiri, and this is hamachi, toro, and salmon belly. Look how beautifully, like, look how beautifully sliced that salmon belly is. So my little pro tip is just asking what they have seasonally or fresh. They told me that they source outside of Vancouver as well, so they pretty much ensure that all of their seafood and fish that they get in is always, always fresh. Um, so even if it's not in season in Vancouver, they will source it elsewhere. Salmon belly, cheers. Oh my gosh, salmon really has that marbly bite. That's just downright delicious. And the grains of rice are cooked perfectly. I can, you can literally feel every grain. It's not mushy. This is the hamachi, which is like a leaner tuna. <laughs> so hamachi is like my dad's favorite fish because it's not too fat, but you get that freshness of tuna and it's kind of lean, um, but it's not, too lean, you still get that flavor profile. And last but not least, which I always recommend people getting here at Tom Sushi, is anything Toro, which is tuna belly based. So you have to kind of pray and wish that they have it on reserve. Like today, I got the last Negi Toro cone and I can't wait to show you what that looks like. The tuna that they use has that beautiful, glistening, bright, light, pinkish hue to it. That's quality right there. It's so good. Mm. And the next level up from Toro is O Toro, which is the extra fatty tuna belly. But I need to maintain my health today. The rest of the sushi has arrived, and this is my Negi Toro hand roll. They can do maki, or they can do hand cones, but I don't know, I've been really into hand rolls these days, and they also, um, how do you say, they torch the top or they kind of uh, make sure it's crispy and toasty and roasty for you to consume. But Negatoro is essentially tuna belly and green onion mixed together and green onion kind of cuts through all the fattiness of the tuna belly, which I love, love, love. So we're gonna get right into it. This is the number one item you have to order on the menu. The flavor of the seaweed definitely comes through and it hugs the rest of the ingredients. Generous portion of green onions there, super fresh. Bright, fatty, 
everything you want in a sushi roll, really. Next up, we have two specialty nigiri that you can order. I just showed a photo of it on Instagram. These are called gunkan, G-U-N-K-A-N. And they essentially have sushi rice on the inside and they're wrapped with the seaweed and you eat it with your fingers. Um, but they're fully loaded. I got one with Dungeness crab, BC Dungeness crab. That's what we're known for. It's meaty, it's tender, it's flavorful. It's all that you want in a crab, really. But this one has bluefin tuna, ikura, which is fish roe. Uh, bluefin is like one of the highest quality grade tuna that you can get, and a little bit of uni, which is sea urchin, and fresh wasabi and gold flakes because we extra. And I saw Feed Me Uni order this, so I had to had to try for myself. <laughs> She's essentially the uni queen in Vancouver. Cheers. Dang. That bluefin has this beautiful marble to it. It's almost like the wagyu of tuna. And then you have the creaminess of the uni kind of just like melting in between the layers. And then that salinity filled ukura just bursts through. And it's like you're literally swimming in the ocean with all the fish and your best friends when you're eating it lols. Um, and that fresh wasabi just cuts a little bit through and ties it all together. I could have another one of those. Here's the Dungeness crab with a bit of tobiko. I think they mix it with a bit of mayo here, but beautiful, nice, thick shreds. I might even order that in a hand cone as well. Y'all already know that it's hard to even pick out all the meat in the Dungeness crab or any crab. Well, so to order that and for them to hand pick it is already such hard work that it's worth ordering that. So an item you always have to try in Vancouver is the aburi sushi. Aburi means flame seared, oshi means pressed. So it's in this beautiful rectangular shape. It's usually pressed in a box. And this one is unique because it has a pickled jalapeno rather than a fresh jalapeno. And it actually has prawn tempura in the middle with a fatty seared salmon layer on top. Mm. The heat from the torch mixed with the creaminess of the sauce and also the fattiness of the salmon come together so beautifully. It's an undescribable flavor that you cannot get anywhere else except for eating a very sushi in Vancouver. And that crunch of the tempura batter with the nice bite of the prawn and the pickled jalapeno, it just comes into this beautiful masterpiece and you have an edible flower on top. Like you can't go wrong with this one to be honest. It's so good. I love it. The, the combination is unique. You guys, a burry sushi is one of those things you have to try once in your lifetime, if not 10 times or more. Last but not least, the final item that I always have to get and most people actually don't know about. Uh, but this place does the best cheese loin katsu. Uh, katsu is this deep fried panko breaded pork cutlet and it's filled with mozzarella melty cheese and it's served with a salad and rice and pro tip you can get a free refill of salad and rice once when you dine in and also when you um, take out I do request it on the side if possible um, just because it also makes for a great meal for two people um, or a lighter meal if you want to split the two and share but wait till you see this Wait for it, guys. Oh my god, that is hot. I ain't wasting that, we eating it straight up. Let's try that one more time. Dip it in the katsu sauce with the sesame. Sweet and tangy. You know I like sweet and tangy. Just balances everything out. Whew. Oh, hot. So just like how the beef look lock is that filler plate, and it's like the all-in-one with the veggies, the carbs, and the protein, this is that dish for me, and it's freaking amazing. Like, I don't eat katsu that often anywhere else but here. I'm definitely packing this to go and sharing with my family as well. 
one person can eat all of this. This is perfect, probably portion for also three to four people. I'm so happy I always get this one. But let me mix it at first and then let the ice melt. This is the che, also known as the three bean drink, which is the add-on. I think it's $6.95 on top of your noodles to make it a combo. So good, so creamy. So refreshing. And I mean, it has beans, right? It's like the Chinese red bean milk, Laosa, but fully loaded. This is, this is the dill fish cake soup. It has a clearer broth, tons of veggies, lots of noodles. Mmm. Noodles took out Dante. The dill hits you right away. It's not for the faint in heart if you don't like dill. But if you can deal with it, I think you should get it. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Very good. Mmm. This is the dill fish cake. Woo! Mm. Got that nice bounce. Mmm. Very herbaceous when we add it with like the perilla leaf. Tastes like shiso. I'm trying to figure out what this is. I'm gonna ask later, but I'll put it right here, whatever the name is. This is the spongy like vegetable. It soaks up all the soup. And it's crunchy. I can't go wrong with this. So good. This one is for the seafood lover. It has the prawns. It also is like more meaty. That one's more clean. So if you're feeling a little bit more healthier, maybe off for the other one. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Super seafoody. Wow, the flavor of the crab you comes through the soup rather than like you're not gonna be looking for crab meat. You're gonna be getting more of the crab flavor from the egg and the soup combined. So almost looks like an egg swirl soup. Mm. And that's how it's done. Then you got these tofu puffs that soak in all that soup as well, just like that other vegetable does in the other soup. Birds actually would be so good in this one. I like how it has pork ham as well. Pork ham, yeah, Vietnamese ham. Last but not least, we have the deep fried salt and pepper chicken wings. As you can tell, I love my chicken wings. And Vietnamese chicken wings hit different, you guys. They're not just your average Joe, lightly fried, you know, tossed in a, in a sauce. We got beautiful batter, nice slow cooked garnish on top that is meant to be eaten. Super hot, look at this. That green onion, more roughly chopped. The batter, ooh! The batter has this thicker, crunchier coating. I don't know if you can see it right there. But you do have the same sauce as you have at uh, Non Pen. Less garlic, more green onion, and the batter is whoop, crunchier rather than thin and crispy. Mmm. That crunch. 
Their chicken is bigger in size, crunchier, but not as flavorful. I think that's the one minor thing, but I would still recommend getting these when you visit here. So satisfied. So satisfied. Oh, and before I forget, the vegetable that was like spongy and crunchy all at the same time is actually taro stem. Did you know? Oh, I did not know. That was new to me. But it was yummy, delicious, and healthy. Oh, yeah. That's all that counts. So let's just talk about the final amount spent in total. Uh, a little recap is that I got three items at Nom Pen and that remounted and that amounted to 67.65. I went to Tom Sushi and ordered quite the amount of items and that was 62.06. I'm pretty sure I ordered one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Just kidding, eight, because I got a paper bag to go. <laughs> so eight items, obviously individual nigiri pieces in there. And then last but not least for Buncha Ga Hong Yin, I ordered four items, three main dishes, one dessert or dessert drink, and that was 58.03. So in total for these three spots to order all my essentials or favorites, I spent, doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> I also have to refer to because I don't, not really, I'm not the best at math. I spent a total of $187.74, which amounts to 983.7 points. And that is going to be used towards my next trip, or should I say also a bubble tea run because why can't you have both? You know what I mean? I hope you enjoyed this episode. Let me know if there are places that you find essential for everyone else to visit so that we can kind of work as a team here and have a list ongoing in the comments below. Um, I think that anybody that's wanting to visit Vancouver, I hope that you have the best time ever. There are so many treasures here for you to find and try. And I hope you don't just come once because there are just way too many restaurants that are established but also up and coming. So there's always something for everybody. Feel free to subscribe or like this or thumbs up or I don't even know how many things there are to do on YouTube, but feel free to stay tuned um, to see what else I recommend. But thanks for tuning in today. Hey you, thanks for watching. I really, really appreciate it. And if you haven't yet, feel free to hit subscribe, like, or even place a comment below. And if you want to stay tuned every Friday, make sure you hit that notification bell. See you next time.